All hands on deck. No, 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 no. Deck. Deck. But um, bump. Oh, my. What a way to start patrol number two. Uh, it's going to be a real number two of a patrol with me, Heffing Controller, as we start our second patrol in Silent Hunter 3. How many times can I iterate that this is our second patrol? Well, it's patrol number two, the second of our patrols, number two. All right. Let's uh, take a quick look at the crew. That's really the only thing that I've changed uh, while we've been in port here in Surabaya. I've added uh, four new people. We have Cameron Richards, Dudo, Fezzi, and Groove Clubhouse. I mentioned at the end of the last video that uh, I was basically out of people to um, name, but as it turns out, we had enough semen to go around. Uh, so let's see. There's nothing I can really upgrade my sub with. I've restocked our torpedoes, so we're all good to go. Um, one other quick thing is I gave Influx a Navy Commendation Medal and Ock 9 a Navy Commendation Medal. Those were the only medals that we received. And I don't know why I gave it to them, because they're pretty unremarkable people. Uh, no. They were commendably commendable, so I gave them medals. Good for them. And I don't really like to give uh, medals to anybody but officers or chiefs, just because I'm classist like that, I guess. So there you go. Uh, let's find out where we're going to go. January 5th, 1942, to Captain Ken Masters. All right. Oh, we're leaving on January 21st, which puts us dangerously, well, not real dangerously close to the period of time when uh, Surabaya gets untenable, but proceed to the Terracon Island area in the Celebis Celeb Celebrity Sea, Hollywood, via the Makassar Strait, and conduct combat patrol within 100 nautical miles of its center point. Addition direction, addition direction will be <laughs> provided via message traffic. Make reports as necessary to ABDA Task Force 3. Okay. Super duper. Um, I think I'm going to have a... S well, yeah, we'll go ahead and be outside the harbor. Just because uh, we've seen Surabaya a little bit, and uh, it's not that interesting. So, I will see you at sea. Hey, sailors. How's everybody doing? Everybody looks real, real happy to be leaving. Everybody's pleased as punch to be back aboard the good old S-38. All right. Well... Uh, we're outside of Surabaya right now. We're heading north-northeast uh, on this course here that I've laid in, trying to avoid all these little... Well, I missed one there. That won't be too long of a time to be in shallow water, but all these darker blue spots are shallow water, and I don't want to have anything to do with them. Uh, I try to avoid them as much as possible, but I think we'll be okay with just that little bit. Anyways, we're going up to our assigned area of uh, Tarakan Island. Tarakan. Tarakan. And uh, it's right here. Uh, the actual area that the game has designated for us to patrol is here, though. Uh, I think that the game might have assigned us this area based on the fact that it was about, what was it, July si or January uh, 6th or so, and Terracon Island was actually invaded based on my studious uh, Wikipedia-based research. Uh, it was invaded on January 11th. Uh, we're well past that, though. It's January 21st, so maybe there's not going to be anything here. We're going to hang out, though, and, you know, scope out the island, see if there's anything uh, worth shooting at. So that's the plan for now. As always, I'm going to keep my ears and eyes open along the way, see if we can run into any traffic that we can shoot at. And if I do, I will let you guys know. I'll keep you guys apprised of any fantastic and fun developments as we make our way to uh, Terracon Island a few days late. But whatever, we'll see what we can find out. And then from there, we'll probably take a new assignment and... Uh, probably get killed then, but in the meantime, we're going to have lots of fun. Stay tuned, whoa, and also try to stay in the general area of where we're patrolling. There we go. Real quick, uh, just remembered something uh, that a few people asked me about, and that is how I move around the sub. How do I break the bonds of camera uh, stay puttedness? <laughs> Well, the answer is uh, you hold down shift, and then you push whichever arrow key you like. You can even, I believe, hold down control and creep around. Actually, uh, it looks like control allows you to... Uh, is this panning? I don't know. I've panned gold before, but I've never panned a camera. So that's how this works. Um, you do have to be... You can actually even... Uh, do it with just the plain arrow keys. I'm 
realizing now. This allows you to just kind of strut around the uh, bridge here. Fellas, how's it going? Stay cool. Uh, of course, you can phase through matter and stuff. That's quite a view. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, you want to be careful about it, though, of course, because you can, you know, fall into another dimension like this. That's not good. Um, you can even go to the deck and do it here. You can float away like a dream on the wings of a prayer or something. So there you go. This is actually kind of useful, and it can be abused, obviously, <laughs> to be able to see a little bit better. Why am I moving so slowly? There we go. You can also hide. You can also cower underneath the flashing of the deck here. That is one snappy uniform, sir, if I do say so myself. Where did you get that? Give it to me. No, please, no. Shouldn't have said that on camera. Anyways, uh, that's how that works. Uh, and I, again, I don't know if that's a part of uh, real fleet boats or if it's just a part of the core game. Again, I would be really surprised if the core game didn't include this. But uh, give it a try. Just push your arrow keys and see what happens. And if it causes you to crash dive hilariously, it's not my fault. Ha ha ha. Anyways, we're continuing on. I'm doing one of our midday dives. It's just about to wind things up. And go on the surface again, but we seem to have a contact. Very, 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 very faint. not even really able to make out what that is. So, I'm going to just make out with myself. I mean, make out what I can with what I have. Um, is that about 80 degrees? So, we'll do this. That's going to be pretty far away. I'm betting over there. Um, we'll lay in a course, I'm prevaricating between going north and northwest. Um, let's go north, yes, sir. New course. and in fact, Three, let's do this five, properly. Nine. Conduct a turn here. Okay, we've been under for a couple of minutes. Let's take another sound reading. If we hopefully we'll still have it on our sonar and hopefully we can still use our sonar why are you not letting me go to sonar okay what the hell I seem to have broken the game hello have I locked this oh my goodness gracious <laughs> let me unfuck the game and I will get back to you guys Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> Alright, where are you? Alright, we're going to say that is... 325, I would say. There are more sophisticated methods of doing this. There's something called the four bearings method, which I think I might have mentioned uh, in the previous patrol. Uh, I need to do some more practice with that before I really give it a go. Uh, so let's see, 325, put it right about there. Um, I'm thinking that Northwest is definitely a smarter bet. So we're going to go on the surface. He could be anywhere between these lines. Surface, surface, surface. But we're going to go on the surface and see what we can find here. Let's go topside. And I'm going to have us go ahead, standard, and I'm, well, I should probably leave recharge on. With that in mind, I'm going to go ahead full. And we're going to head out this way and see what we can find. And also, we're going to change our course, do this right. There we are. Okay. Maybe we have some prey. Who knows? We'll go find out. Okay, now you guys should be able to clearly hear him. So he might be in visual range. I didn't see him when I just dove him or went down, but I'm going to take my scope and take a look. 
There we are. Money! Okay. Well, we appear to be coming up behind him, so this might be kind of interesting. We might have to go out this way a bit, or either way. It doesn't really make a difference, I guess. Um, why don't we try that? And we'll try to then uh, chase him and get alongside him here. I'm just going to steer west now and try to overtake him. Do, do, do. Let's see if we can see him on the surface. He should be visible. Hmm. The smoke should be at least... There he is. Wait a minute. I don't know if I want to wait until daylight to confirm this. Um, and in YouTube land... I'm guessing that you guys can't really tell for sure. I'm going to get closer just to be sure that that's what I'm actually seeing. Oh, boy. Well, we've got a ship spotted, and the fact that we didn't get a pop-up suggests very strongly that my suspicions were well-founded. God damn it. The reason we didn't get a pop-up is because he's from the good old U.S. of A. You might be able to see that a little clearer. Why don't I just go ahead and show you guys? Uh, <laughs> where is he? Let me at him. There he is. Um, you know, thinking about it a bit more critically, I should have inferred that since he was heading... Well, no, that's actually not fair. Um, I was going to say I should have inferred that since he was heading west, he was probably a merchant ship heading to one of our friendly ports, but it could have very well just, you know, could have been a, an invasion fleet, right? So, yeah. I don't feel bad about this at all. Certainly not. Well, anywho, let's get the hell out of here. What the hell was going on with my mouse there? Okay. I'm going to get out of here and head this way after that colossal waste of time. Clean this up. And forget this whole ugly chapter ever happened. And continue on towards our patrol grid. How much... We wasted some fuel for that. Yeah, that was kind of dumb. Okay, well, we're yes, just going to have to be conservative yes, throughout the rest of our journey here. A little bit irritated by that, but uh, immediately <laughs> contradicting what I said earlier about that not bothering me, it does. Surprise, surprise. Okay, we're going to keep going and head towards Terracan Island, and hopefully there will be things that are not American there that we can blow up. Okay, folks, I think it's about time for a uh, sit rep. Everybody sit yourself down and have a rep. Uh, we've left the Jawa Sea and all their overpriced droids and their sand crawler and their beady glowing eyes and uh, I've gotten us to this point here we're about to do a turn and as I usually do when I'm about a kilometer away I like to do a dive just because um, when we go into our turn I'll be able to um, scan the area behind us with our sonar here but um, as I was going into the turn I can very faintly hear a contact And that's not audible to me at all. Incidentally, I think that the game is being a little bit charitable. So, um, we come now to the decision. Well, actually, first of all, we need to mark where that is, roughly. It's about 40 degrees. And then it gets quiet at about 15. So maybe we'll just say 25 or something like that. It doesn't have to be precise at this point. You're and since it's fairly far away, we'll mark it like, where's the scale on this? Oh, that's pretty far. We'll put it about, like that. Sorry guys, just took me a moment there, but now I've got it figured out, i got my shit together. Okay, so... Now we have to decide which way we think that that contact is heading. It could be going east to Makassar if it's Japanese. I don't know if Makassar has been taken at this point. Um, 
could also be heading north back home if it's Japanese. It could be heading south to attack something in the Flores Sea. Um, or it could be heading west. So there's really no uh, <laughs> specific uh, direction I have in mind that it might be going. I doubt that it's going east, I guess. It, I doubt that it's even going due east. That would probably be a better way to think of it. Probably not going south. But it could be again. I mean, it's it's anything's possible in this wild and crazy ocean of ours. So I think I'm actually going to have us just go east. I think of the main cardinal directions, north and south seems to be the most likely. So I'm going to put us on the... Surface. No, I'm not going to put us on the surface. Yes, sir. Surface. surface. No, and surface. I... I'm useless. <laughs> My goodness. Just ridiculous. What I did is I hit P and then I hit the left bracket and everything got crazy. Left bracket is left full rudder. But I've decided to stay at periscope depth. I'm going to keep us under going east for a quick couple of minutes here. Okay, let's take another reading. Much louder now. I can at least hear it now. <laughs> I guess that's my definition of much louder, but... I can hear it a little bit over to 20 degrees. So I'm going to mark that. Really quick. Okay. Let's put it like... 20 degrees. Now, if they're at 20 degrees, they could be heading east. Or east southeast, I guess, to Makassar. But let's do another reading here. Okay. It's been about 10 minutes. The fact that their general aspect isn't changing very much does indicate probably that they're heading east, although now that I say that, the fact that they're getting louder indicates that they're probably heading west. Reason being is that we're going at six knots, and I doubt that we're overtaking them. Uh, and I'm saying them at this point because I am of the opinion now that they're a convoy because that's a contact. That's a contact. That There's multiple contacts in there. And then it evens out here. So it's just based on the propeller pitch. There's somebody... The pitch, not in terms of the way that... Well, the pitch, the sound. For those of you who are musically inclined, you know what I mean. One of them here is going... Womp, 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 and one of them is going... Waka, waka, waka. It's a fozzy bear ship or something. I don't know. I think that they're heading actually just about right towards us. So, um, I'm going to put us on the surface. surface the boat. Yes, sir. Just because I feel like that is a prudent thing to do. It's like Quaker Oats. Right thing to do. Diabetes. Wolford Brimley. Etc. Okay, I don't see any smoke. Smoke ships every day. Yeah, I don't see anything. It was... Oh, I take that back. There is one little plume of smoke right where my mouse is. The game likes to give you just one little puff of smoke. There's another one. Okay, well that's encouraging. Question is, should I... I'm going to adjust us slightly. No, I'm going to keep us on this course. I'm going to move us for another five minutes. And see how things look. I'm showing you guys this whole process because I think in general, throughout both my Silent Hunter 3 and so far my Silent Hunter 4 career, 
I haven't really shown you guys in detail how I hunt. I mean, I've shown you guys how I draw lines and stuff like that, but I don't know if that really shows you what I do. There's multiple smoke signatures there, and in fact, I can see a profile of a ship right... I'll get my reticle kind of resting below into the side of the ship that I see. Because YouTube likes to render this stuff out. It likes to get rid of the smoke and also the ship profiles and the inky darkness. Um, okay, and they're heading parallel to me. Or thereabouts. They're actually heading that way. So they're at 30 degrees. Let me get my protractor out. Let me get my protractor out so I can tell you guys where the enemy is. Seems kind of geeky to be relying on a protractor, I guess. I'm going to infer that that is about where they're heading. So I'm going to draw a line like this. Maybe we'll split the difference a little. I obviously don't have any range readings. Get rid of this. Just to tidy this up. I don't have any range readings, so... I don't know if that's 100% right, but I bet that that's about how they're heading. Just based on how that ship looked. Even drop it down. Something like that. Okay, so with that in mind, I think southeast is a good bet. Or maybe just south. Go south, young man. Young man. There's no need to go east. Okay, that's not going to... That will only bring hardship to us if I continue with that. Because what rhymes with east? East? Beast? Ceased and desisted? Okay. Let's get our eyes on the target. There we are. Already, I can see him again. I think this is good because they're head they're going to cross our path for sure. He's at 290 and he's heading ahead of us. So uh, let's slow it down. Yes, sir. Ahead one third. Yes, sir. We'll give it another five minutes or so. E four. And a five. Okay. Oh, okay. So there's multiple contacts. Let's get the TBT out because I think it might be slightly more stable. Well, I'm, it's not by much, but it is, I think. Okay, so that is some type of escort. That is something bigger than an escort, I think. No, that is an escort. That is a destroyer. That's another destroyer there. I should probably get under. That looks like a destroyer, but it's got a funny profile, so I don't know if I'm right about that. That's a destroyer. That's a destroyer. This is a bunch of destroyers. So, in fact, we have not encountered a convoy. We have encountered a task force. Yes, sir. I'm going to put us under. Yes, sir. And for the hell of it, yes, sir. why don't we make a lot of noise? Yes, Whee! Alright. Everybody get under, including me. Look at you, you slack-jawed fuck. I'm, uh, I'm uh, looking at the map here. And there's a lot of stuff on it. What did we do, Captain? Look at him. Close your mouth. Mouth breathing piece of. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, who is that? I love that. That's. That's. Oh no, I clicked on that. Look at how much of an ape he is right now. I'm assuming that this is going to be... Oh, it's Clouder. Or no, 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 no. Is it? I think it is. That is fantastic. 
kudos to you, sir. Congratulations on ov overcoming your obvious deficiencies and serving aboard my ship. Well, I guess all of you guys are deficient in your own way. Anyways, um, we're under. Let's take a quick listen on the on the hydrophone. Sorry for being so abusive. That was really uncalled for, I guess. But They're, those are all warships, just based on how they sound. <laughs> Sounds like somebody falling down the stairs. There is a... I'm, I'm being... giving you guys dead air for a second. But... There's kind of a background to that there's a whole bunch of waka 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 and then I think that I hear a kind of a low thrumming bassy yeah that's it there I think that there is something bigger in there it could have been that one that I wasn't too sure about um, let's put the scope up could use the observation scope actually because it is nighttime it might help but oh I should have sent something to command that I was in contact with these guys oh well too late there are some ridiculous waves right now you guys Closing. Bearing. Three. Zero. no <laughs> you don't say okay that is what I was looking at or thinking was a weird target and I think let me get another look at him through the waves here. But I think that I might be right about it not just being a simple destroyer. Because it does have a weird pro... There we go. That's a cruiser. And that's a light cruiser, in fact. Um, Japanese light cruisers have a very distinct profile. It's not one of those. We might as well just tear that out of the book. <laughs> Go us. They have a very distinct profile, though, because they have the superstructure, and it's kind of spindly looking. This is one of them. And then it's got one stack, or I think it has up to four. Yeah, there's three, and then four, and then another one with three. There's another light cruiser that's a more modern design, but you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. Um, I can't really tell based on that profile. So I'm going to give him another five minutes to come up. I'm not probably going to shoot at the destroyers. Just because that is a waste. It's a waste of time. Contact. Closing. Bearing. Two, deep. Six. Long range. They are more likely to dodge and they're a smaller target and in these kinds of conditions I need to take a shot that I can hit something with. So. Okay. Smoke on the water. Bow, bow, bow. Yes. All right, let's just stop. Because I think he's going to cross directly in front of us. And I did see an escort crossing his path, so hopefully we don't get pinged here in a minute. We have not so far. Knock on wood. Okay. Waves. You're really cramping my style here. I still can't tell. I'm going to have to wait another five minutes or so. Until 520. In fact, we'll wait even longer than that. Just a little bit more. Damn it. These waves are excruciating. They're making this very difficult. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a good solution. There we go. That's a pretty good look, but I can't tell how many stacks he's got. Might back us up yes, sir. a little. Damn it. Gotta wait another five. Come on now. Come on, 
on people now. Smile on your brother. Everybody get together. Okay. It really could be any of these uh, designs, too. There's nothing that, as far as like a date, where one of these wasn't. I think all of these were in service as of the start of the war. Um, sometimes that helps. You can eliminate different targets based on the fact that you know that some of them don't exist yet. But that's four stacks. Do any of them have, other than that one, have four stacks? Bingo. So Naka light cruiser. So instead of waka waka, it was probably going naka naka. But um bump. Okay. Um, I'm gonna give him just another five minutes or so. I keep saying this, but I'm gonna try to get us to come to a full and complete stop, and rig us for silent running. And scope up. And these waves are terrible. I almost think I could have gotten away with this on the surface, but with it becoming closer to daylight, oh boy, we got to do this now. Range him quick, 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 quick. Where's the water line on that thing? I just lost him to. Because of the waves, I'm going to say it's slightly above where I think the image is showing me. He is really close. I don't know if we're going to get a good solution out of this. Okay. It's the final countdown. That's good. on. You're ridiculous. That'll do. He's much more square now. What do we got? Six knots. I think that... That is possible, actually. He's not really moving that quickly. Um... Brick. Okay. What's his draft? 4.9. Notch that up a little bit. Alright, I'm going to do one at 6 and one at 8 just because I think that that's probably prudent. Keep losing the uh, lock on him. Number two is going to... Oh, shit. God damn it. I keep forgetting to do this. We're really, really, really close. So we need to do this now. And we're going to increase it to eight. Lock. Feed it in. Fire. And get down. Yes, sir. He is so close to us. That is ridiculous. Now, this is the one that I sent at 6, and I think my instincts were correct. I don't think that we're going to get a hit off of that because of how fast he's going. The 8, not 1. Correct at two, zero. They have seen our torpedo or heard it. That one is coming at him. He's going to probably speed up and avoid it. Maybe. We'll see. He is steering, I think. Nope, that's going to be a hit, I think, unless it's a dud. Torpedo is a oh, you son of a bitch! Rump my hump. Three, oh, 
man. That pisses me off so much. Okay. Well, we learned something there. Um, taking shots in rough waters is really difficult, and um, I hate our torpedoes. So those are the two lessons to learn there. I think my uh, crappy solution was because of the waves, honestly. Uh, I think that my uh, ranges were all goofed up, so that's probably what was at hand here. Although these guys might run into each other. That might be hilarious. Somebody is launching depth charges. Oh boy. Oh goody. I'm not hearing any explosions. Okay. Well, <clears throat> that's unfortunate, but we're going to reload. I don't know if we're going to be able to mount another attack on these guys. I think I'll try. Let's go ahead and extend their course so that I can... Thank you, I know. Uh, so that I can at least kind of keep track of them. I don't know where they're going to be heading. They could be heading to Banjo Mason here. I don't know how to say that, but... Damn, that is really frustrating. That's good news, though, that we're passing the thermal layer, and I don't think we're actually going to get really severely attacked here, so... Okay, I'm going to try this again. Um, try to meet up with them again if we can in as prompt a fashion as possible because it's going to be daylight soon. If the weather holds up, that will still help, but man, that is frustrating. Uh, hopefully I can get my vengeance on these crafty bastards.